Hi, my name is Lori Geiger and I teach grades two and three at the Carbondale New School. I've been here for 18 years and it's the best job I've ever had. We hatch ducklings in my classroom every year and when we first started out we would maybe get about 10 eggs and maybe two or three would hatch and then we'd get a little more and we'd, as we learned to regulate the incubator we'd maybe get more, six, eight and we've, the, the students have become quite successful because we actually hatched 22. Another thing that they learn how to do is how to gently hold a duckling because they're quite fragile and they think they can just pick them up and just hold them with one hand but you have to actually hold one palm down and then one on top and keep it close to your body and then they learn to not to squeeze too hard and to be aware and I usually have them sit close to the floor in case the duck were to fly out of their hand it wouldn't fall too far so they that's a good lesson in how to be gentle with the baby animal. Would you like one? This one's being kind of parts that the student really really students really enjoy is when they get to hold them and when we have them swim and then they get to cuddle with them in a towel but before they get to do that they have to get all their work done so they are highly motivated and I often say those of you that are focused and have your work done will be the first people to get to hold a duckling or cuddle it after it swims and then I have no trouble with them getting their work done The reason we hatch ducklings every year is it's an excellent hands-on science project and it's long term. Most teachers do hatch chicks, but I do ducklings because they can come back to my house and be in the pond and the kids can come visit them. It's a wonderful life science, I'm very big on life science and I think it's really important for students to learn how a life can develop out of an egg, it's absolutely fascinating. 